What's up, guys, and how is everybody doing out there? I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, where, where, where do I start with this one? Um, let's start with uh, the floodgates have opened, right? <laughs> the floodgates have opened. What do I mean by that? There are vloggers pouring into the Philippines. Some are very, very good. I would say the majority of vloggers pouring into the Philippines are good. You do, however, have garbage coming in here. You have garbage coming in here, giving out false information, and um, it'll get you in trouble. It will get you in trouble. Uh, so where am I going with this, guys? This just I just got this email from somebody who said, you got to check this out. All right. I am pulling this news from the Manila Bulletin, latest news, January 11th, 2023 at 9.41 a.m. In other words, today, this just came in. All right, here we go. Remember, bear with me with my reading. Moon Tin Lupa Mayor Loud's arrest a vlogger, Mr. Pogi Germany, goes on to say, Munitan Lupa Mayor Rufi Bayazan looted the police for the immediate arrest of a German vlogger who uploaded a video of him picking up a girl in Alibang, bringing her to a motel, paying her 1,000 pesos, and kissing her. Vlogger Mr. Pogi German. Real name, Marcel Massal, 29, a resident of Barangay San Isidro Rodriguez Rizel, was arrested by the, by the Munit, uh, like I said, bear with me, Montinalupa Police. I will put the link to this article so you can read it um, for yourself. Uh, he, is facing, he is facing a complaint for violation of Republican at Act 8353, the anti-rape law of 1997, in relation to the Republic Act 7610, Special Protection of Children Against Abuse, Exploitation, and Discrimination Act. Let's stop right there. Uh, according to the, uh, let, me, let me go on, according to the report by uh, Munich, Montin Lupa Police Chief Colonel Ang Angel Garcelliano, the girl that Mesela picked up in Alabang, turned out to be 17 years old, a minor, and not 18 as she claimed in the video. So let's stop right there. Uh, 17 years old. Once again, let's go back to people giving out false information. All right. There's a guy running around saying, the age of consent here is 16. It is not. It is not. It is for Filipinos. As a foreigner in this country, entering this country, staying in this country, the age of consent is not 16. And it ticks me off that there's guys out there that are running around giving that false information out. It's false. It's false. 18. 18. That's what it is. Based on the video, it appears that he looked average of the woman's needs. He took advantage of the woman's need. Um, this, this mixes up with Tagalog and English. Uh, less than 24 hours since I issued a statement about what a foreigner national did, they were able to arrest the foreigner thanks to the PMP, Montenlupa, led by Colonel Angels Garcelino for the swift action. Um, the mayor called of the city council to declare Mr. Pogi Germany persona non grata. In other words, a undesirable. Now, he's been arrested. All right. I looked at the news and uh, he's been arrested for being with a minor. 
Uh, here's a rule, guys. Ask for ID. Ask for ID. Um, he never asked for ID. Now, I watched this video, right? It's still there. Go check it out. Um, let the guy know he's a scumbag, all right? they are vloggers that are so desperate for views. They're desperate that they're sinking down into the sewer to get these. And I'm going to call this guy out. You know, I, I'm watching a vlogger now. He's putting up high school kids, young minors in his video. People have called him out. You know what he said? It's content. It's content. Well, your content can land you in jail. It can land you in jail. You think it's content. They might look at it somewhere else as something else. All right. To me, it's disgusting what some of these people are doing. I've been doing this for a while now. Yes, I live in the red light district here in Angley City. It is what it is. The number one tourist destination for people wanting to sleep with Filipino women, hanging out in the bars, picking up women is Angley City. There is no other way around it. It is. Um, but I watched this guy, right? I watched the video. He knew exactly what he was doing. He was whining and dining her, uh, making her feel important, making her feel like she was somebody, uh, making her feel good, took her to a nice restaurant where she probably has never been, uh, gave her a nice food, you know, and, and she's thinking, you know, hey, this guy's treating me good. This guy's intentions were completely different. His intentions were to sleep with this girl, period. So he went on and whined and dined her. Then he took her to the Sogo Hotel. And to me, Sogo Hotel should be held responsible, too, for not checking this girl's ID. Anyways, they get into the room, and they're on the bed, and they're talking. And then she goes into the bathroom and comes out in a seductive outfit. And he's telling her how good she looks. Then they get on the bed, and he takes his shirt off. You know, Mr. Cool, you know, Mr. I'm, I'm the man, and uh, takes his shirt off, and she goes to pull his pants down. He jumps up, and he goes, oh, this is a joke. This is a joke. Uh, this is a joke. I want to give you 10,000 pesos to help you out with your kid, and I feel bad for you. And uh, next thing you know, and, and it's all edited. It's all edited. You can tell it's edited. You can edit out anything you want. And uh, the next thing you know, she leans up and starts kissing him, right? You hear you know, and you can tell that he's kissing her and they're laying down on the bed. And next thing you know, he's under the covers telling her how good of a girl she is and everything like that. Everything's edited. He did put a smiley face over her face to kind of protect her, her ID identity. And, uh, okay. If that's how you want to play this game, great. Um, however, uh, I'm reading the article right now. Uh, what happened was the girl went home and told her parents, told her mom. Her mom immediately went to the police, reported it. Um, they arrested him. Uh, uh, they're saying the minor will have to undergo psychological uh, assessment um, so the appropriate help can be given to her. Um, they actually met on a, on a messenger app, and uh, he met her in front of the mall in Alabang, and he invited her to go to the motel. Um, the police said, however, Masal insisted to have a sexual encounter with the victim, but the latter refused to do it. The suspects forced the suspect forced to undress the victim and had intercourse with her. Uh, the victim told her mother that M Masal. Uh, the victim told the, her mother what Michelle did to her, and they went to the Woman and Child Protection Unit of the, uh, the Muntinlupa Police to report the incident. Uh, Michelle's video title, I've met an 18-year-old Filipina pickup girl from Alabang and was uploaded on his Facebook account on January 7th and has been viewed over a million times and has has garnered more than 20,000 comments and 285,000 reactions. 
Mr. Pogue, Germany even encouraged other women to participate. Who wants to be the next girl in my content? He wrote. Um, this guy knew what he was doing. This guy knew exactly what he was doing. Claiming he wanted to help her. And you know what? Here's the sad part. He got busted because he had a YouTube channel, right? There's a lot of dirtbags out here that are doing the same exact thing. They're just not putting on YouTube. This guy put this on YouTube, and he got busted. He got busted. Now, what will happen to him? We don't know. We don't know. Um, here, the Philippines judicial system works a little. Uh, we know what we're. We know how things work here. Uh, the parents could file a case on the guy. The guy could just pay the girls off, the girl and her family off. All right, you want 2 million pesos? Boom, here you go. Case dropped. You can drop a case. However, the Philippine government should turn around and just, you're an undesirable. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, they're, they're, like I said, there are people that are so, so desperate for content that they're just, they're crossing the line here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being approached by people. Hey, you know this guy, this new guy running around here in the city, you know, claiming everybody's a, you know, all the girls here are, are, are all uh, freelance girls and, you know, telling people the age of consent here is 16 and, uh, you know, filming these young, and I mean young, you can tell they're young schoolgirls. Do you know this guy? No, I don't, I don't know this guy. I only know of his content. But guy's crossing the line. There's a line. And people will say, well, you crossed the line. I, I don't think I have. I think if I've crossed the line, I would have been notified by now by authorities. Um, but that's what I mean. These people are just coming in, coming in. How can I get big quick? How can I make my YouTube channel blow up? And they're doing stuff like this. And the funny thing is, guys, the funny thing is, I, I, I'm rolling through this guy's channel, right, looking at things. Three years ago, he puts up a video. It says, I am in the jail in the Philippines. He's basically talking about his Facebook page and how his Facebook page got, uh, you, know, how, you know, you know what I'm talking about, where they put you in Facebook page or Facebook jail. Well, guess what, buddy? Now you are in the jail. You're in jail. Uh, I even watched video from news. Like it made the news, television news, about this guy, about this dirtbag, this scumbag. Um, the woman, I don't know who it was, could have been the girl's mother. They were filming inside the police station area. This woman walks right up and just whacks him across the face and cracks him across the face. Police didn't do anything. Police didn't grab the woman and say, you know, we're going to charge you with assault now. You can't. No, they didn't do that. They didn't do that at all. I say, here's what I say. Put the guy back out in the community. Let the community deal with him. Let the community deal with him. I guarantee you, he'd be happier to stay in the prison that he's sitting in than be out in the community because community don't put up with that. They will not put up with that. Um, but yeah, I seen that and I'm like, this, it's just pure disgusting. What, what, what some people, how low they will just go to, uh, to get views, I guess. I, I don't know. Like I said, there are better, <clears throat> excuse me. There are a lot of good vloggers entering the Philippines. And like I said, as soon as like, the gate open and people could come in. It's like a flood of them come in. And um, they all want to get, they all want to get popular and big. Well, now it takes a lot of effort. It does. It takes a lot of effort. Um, but I wanted to share that. Um, yeah, make this guy famous. Make this guy famous. He needs to be famous for the trash and the garbage he's done. Uh, his channel should just be taken down done with um but that's what's happening that's that's what this i don't even know how to say it you know 
That's what kind of garbage is coming in here. And my advice to the guy running around, you know, putting photos of the young girls up and telling people, oh, it's for content. It's just for content. My advice to that dude is, you know what? I'd, seriously, I'd, I'd bolt out of here. <laughs> I would bolt out of here because um, you're getting, yeah, you're getting known, but you're getting known for all the wrong reasons, right? So anyways, with that being said, I will put the link down below. Like I said, I'm not the best reader, um, but I will put the link down below. Uh, check it out. You can read it for yourself. And uh, let's make this dirtbag famous for all the wrong reasons. Since he wants to be famous, let's make him famous for all the wrong reasons. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.